Hello everybody in Facebook land. This is Mia with Chalk with Mia with Chalk Couture. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture and it's Saturday night and this is what I do. So I am working on a few projects tonight and I am, um, hey Cindy, thanks for joining. You know, I can share my screen, Cindy, you can join with me. It could be like one of our Facebook live nights. Um, so anyway, so I am working on a few projects tonight and I did record a few, but I thought I'd go live with this one. So you guys are gonna have to hang with me because it's a fun one. I'm gonna be layering some stencils. So if it doesn't work out, I promise you it, you're able to do it. Um, and and we're just gonna have fun and see what happens. So. For anybody who's not familiar with Chalk Couture, it is a company, a direct sales company. I became an independent rep or an independent designer um, about September. And uh, to put it in a really quick nutshell, they have a couple of different products, but Chalk Paste is one of them. And it's exactly what um, what the name says. It's, it's a chalk-based paste. So what you, the great thing about it is, is for people like me who don't like to measure, and I tend to be a little bit more creative and artistic sometimes, um, I mess up a lot. And so with this, if I mess up, I can just take a disinfectant wipe, wipe it clean and start over. Um, or if I just wanna change the project up, I can always clean it off and put something new on it later. But with these, I usually seal them with polyurethane because I sell them in a shop called Twisted Art in uh, Driver, Suffolk. Uh, so that's where I normally do with all my, most of my projects when I'm done with them. So. Tonight, I am doing the I Love You to the Moon and Back with this live one. So I've got this wood moon that I had one of the artisans, Ed, uh, cut for me at Twisted Art. And uh, he did a beautiful job, and he stained it a really pretty color for me. So I have this transfer, and this is what they look like. So they are, they look like stencils, but the difference between these and what you see in the store is there is a mesh where uh, in the store it would be blank. And so the, what's great about that is it keeps the paste from bleeding uh, into other areas. So, um, so that's a really cool thing. So what I'm gonna do is I've got my moon and I am going to lay the stencil and I want the rocket ship to be tilted a little bit. So I'm going to put this on here and then I have this stencil whoops, sorry, I'm backwards, it says, I love you to the moon and back, and I'm gonna layer that inside of the spaceship, and then we're gonna put little stars around it, and it'll be super cute, at least I think so. Okay, so, um, just to let you know too, uh, the way that I typically do this, so I've got a tin full of water, because when we're done with the stencils, we typically want to put them in the water because we don't want the paste drying on it. Um, and then I've got my squeegees, which are chalk couture, but I will tell you, I often cut them in half because I don't need something this size, I need something this size. And then if I need something even smaller, I cut it in half again. So um, I like buying new stuff. So, and if you guys are here and watching, let me know so I can say hi and, and stuff. Cindy, I see you, thank you so much. You're always so good, you're always so supportive. Um, okay, so I also have these makeup applicators. I just get these off at of Amazon. They're not a chalk couture thing. It's a cosmetics industry thing. But the great thing is they're plastic. And so what I can do is I can use it to stir up the paste. I can do a whole bunch of stuff with it. And then I can dump them in the water when I'm done and reuse them. So I'm not wasting any materials. So makeup applicators, wonderful. Um, and then I have my disinfectant wipes because more often than not, I'm gonna mess up and I need to clean up a little bit. Um, and uh, so uh, I always have those handy. I have paper towels handy. And then just to show you guys, so Chalk Couture does have a wax that they've sold, but they sell them in little chapstick size containers. And if you're like me and a little obsessed with Chalk Couture and chalking, I need a lot more wax to prep my surfaces. So if I don't get my surfaces from Chalk Couture, they do need, to, whoo, they do need to be waxed um, because you want to make sure that the stencil or the transfer will um, adhere to it and then the paste won't seep through the surface too much that it's going to lay on top of it. So this is the wax that I use. Um, I've seen other designers use an array of different things, but that's my choice. Okay, so the first thing, so, um, oh, Cindy, yeah, you're down in Myrtle Beach in the ball fields. Is it 
is it cold down there? What's it like down there? It was pretty nice up here today. Um, but it got chilly as the night, as it started to turn night. Okay, so what we want to do first is, and I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it. Eventually, I'll get my cameras set up so that you guys can see just the project, but I don't have that yet. So I'm going to take my squeegee, and I'm going to pull it in different directions um, because what I'm trying to do is I want to get the air bubbles out. Um, so like I mentioned before, um, the stencil, um, so chilly, not too bad, the stencil uh, helps with the bleeding, that mesh in between, but if you have air bubbles in it, it's going to seep up underneath it and then it's going to bleed. So we want to try to get as many air bubbles out as we can. And the other great thing about Chalk Couture is these stencils can be used over and over again. So I've used this one four or five times already. Um, and you can see kind of where it's discolored here on the sides. That didn't come that way. That's from my chalk paste. Um, and these stencils, if you take care of them properly, can last, I've heard some designers say 20 plus times, 30 times, really just depending on on uh, how you take care of them. So what I'm gonna do is, I thought I'd get a little crazy. Usually I'm very uh, plain Jane, simple, black and whites, and um, hey Sherry, thanks for joining. Um, but I thought tonight we'd get a little fun with some of the colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, School Bus Yellow for some stars. I wanna put stars around. I'm going to use white for the afterburner smoke coming out, but I'm going to put the rocket ship in this tie teal and the words I love you to the moon and back in red orange. A little crazy, I know, but hey, you know, if we don't like it, like I said, we can just wipe it clean and then we can go back to my plain Jane style. That would be fine. Okay, so we said tie teal for the rocket ship. Let's get started and see how this goes. Okay, so these are two ounce containers. They are coming out with three ounce. Um, I don't know if that was just a request from designers. These containers do look small, and they are. But the great thing is, is because we don't really use a whole lot on the projects, you put all the excess back into the container. And so really it, it lasts quite a while. So the one thing, I've got a little bit of crusties built up on the side. Um, so the other good thing about these spatulas is you can dig in there and really mix it up because you want your paste to be like a yogurt consistency. So this one's, you know, when they sit for a while, sometimes they get a little right, but this one seems okay. I'm gonna actually add just a little bit of water and I get it out of my container. Some people have uh, spritzer bottles available. I do that too if I'm teaching a class, but for these, I just use, what's in front of me. Just be very careful about how much water you add because um, you don't want it to get runny. Okay, so I think this is pretty good. And like you guys can see, see it drips a little bit, but it's like a yogurty type consistency. So uh, what I do, and like I said, I teach classes. So if anybody is ever interested in just making some of your own projects, maybe you just don't wanna buy them, you wanna actually learn how to make them, I do what we call make and takes at Twisted Art in Driver. And I think, I haven't posted it yet, but I think my next class is gonna be on March 24th. Um, and I can't decide if I'm gonna do a theme. Do you guys like themed things? Like if I did spring or what's the Easter, uh, baby shower, I might do a themed one. Um, I can't decide. So what I did was I just dabbed the paste all over my project area. And now I'm gonna take my squeegee and I'm gonna just drag it over the entire area that I want to have covered. And I'm trying to be a little careful because there are some stars right around the edges. And, you know, I mean, I can clean them off if I get them, but I'd just rather not if I don't have to. And then, of course, I don't want to get the afterburners because, or that smoke at the bottom, because I want those to be white. So look at all of this. Let's see if I can get it without dripping it all over my computer. Look at all that excess. All I'm gonna do is squeeze that right back into the container. See, so what I mean about, you know, there's a lot. So I'm gonna go to a little bit smaller one because I wanna get some of these edges in here. And you really don't need a, a lot. You just need a little bit. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to get any of the excess off. Okay. 
So I'm going to let you guys see. Now I don't want the, the one thing is you don't want your paste to dry too much. Can you guys see there's not really a whole lot of film on there. But because I'm using the same transfer has the uh, smoke part on the bottom of it, there is a technique that some uh, designers use uh, where they will lift up this transfer, clean it, and then do the next color if they're doing multiple colors. And it's actually quite smart because you don't want your paste to dry too much. So um, it's a good technique to use. But I am just going to guts it. And we are going to try to do all of this in one full swoop. So I'm going to mix up my white. Now my whites usually don't need water because like I said earlier, I use the blacks and the whites a lot. I just um, tend to like that kind of farmhouse-y clean style. Um, so I like a little bit of color every now and then, but the blacks and whites are always good for me. Okay, so now I'm just doing the afterburner. I call it the afterburner. Is that what they're called? Whatever the, the smoke that comes out of the back of the rocket ship. If my son didn't have headphones on right now, he would probably be able to answer me. Okay. Or he might just not want to be part of the video. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Hey, Dylan. Hi. So what is the smoke called in the back of this? I'm live. I'm on Facebook Live. Say hi to everybody in Facebook land. Hi. <laughs> so what is the smoke section called um, of the rocket ship? I, I seriously don't know. Oh, finally, I got you with something you don't know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got this transfer, and because I've done the rocket ship in here, I'm going to pull it off, and we're going to hope that the colors do well. I think it looks good. What do you guys think? Yeah. All right. That's fantastic. I did get a little bit of the blue on the white up here. So what I might do is let that dry later and uh, try to fix that white up a little bit. Okay. So yeah, I'm excited. That turned out well. All right. So now what I'm going to do is while this is sitting here drying for a second, I am going to clean up my containers and close them up and then get ready for the next section. So Cindy says, hey. Dylan. Oh, wait, what? Cindy says hi. Oh, hi. He says, hey, Cindy. Yeah, just like a true kid, in and out, in and out. Um, Sorry, I have my headphones. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Yeah, he's playing some Roblox. It's about 845. It's a weekend, so he gets, he gets late night privileges on the weekends, mother of the year happening over here. Okay, so what I'm doing is trying to throw everything that can be recleaned back into my water, closing up my containers, cleaning my squeegees, because now I'm gonna go on to the next section, which I can do the stars actually and let this dry a little bit. I've got my blow dryer here, so we'll probably end up needing to use that to make sure it's super dry. So whenever you're layering, you need to make sure that that bottom layer is really dry because if not, when you pull up the transfer, it's going to pull that bottom paint with it. So um, you wanna make sure that it that it is dry. So if if you're doing any type of layering or anything that requires one transfer to sit on top of the other, even if it's just the edge of it, you want to dry it first. So let me, um, where are my stars? Oh, let me grab my stars. All right, hold on, everybody. I forgot my stars. Good thing it's just right in the room next to me. Okay, so I've got, there were some on the space shuttle, but I dumped it in the water. So I've got these stars, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to randomly put them all over the moon um, and this is again this is where I say I don't measure I don't um, oh okay bye Cindy <laughs> thanks good luck tell Jessica we said hello um, I don't measure I don't really you know it's it's just an eyeball thing it's wherever I think that the colors would look pretty and they go and and I'll show you so what I'll probably do is this star where is it right here is falling off of the moon. And I kind of like that. I like when things are not centered or uh, have a little bit of, you know, offness. Is that a, is that a word? We'll create our own dictionary today. Um, some, a little bit off 
uh, of the platform. So I'm okay with that. But again, that's the great thing about just art in general, but specifically, you know, also chalk couture because you make it what you want. And then if you don't like it, you erase it and you start over, which is perfect for people like me because I tend to get tired of things quickly and want to change them up. So I mixed up my yellow and I'm going to now, I can, if you're going to use the same transfer, as long as you use it quickly afterwards, you don't have to wash it immediately. So I can use this in several different places and it will be fine. So I am going to take, and I think, let's see, I want, let's do like so. Okay. And like I said, if I put too many or it looks like it's too much, I can just erase them later. So again, I dabbed, oops, you guys can't see this. I'm always backwards. I don't know how much you guys can see anyways because I don't have my camera right. Okay, so I dabbed the yellow and I'm going to pull... I love this school bus yellow. It's so pretty. It's bright. It's cheery. Like I said, I might be playing Jane, but I do really appreciate colors and I love colors. So, all right. So that, okay. So again, a very thin layer, as you guys can see, and I'm going to pull this off. And we've got some stars at the top. Very, very small uh, detail, but effective. It kind of finishes up the look of, I love you to the moon and back. I just love that saying. I get a lot of people say, they, they say that to their kids, their loved ones or whatever. And so it's kind of a fun project to do because I think a lot of people can relate to it. Okay. Now we're just doing... The next section, and this one, I did a smaller moon um, a little while ago, and I didn't do the rocket ship. I just did the words because it was much smaller and a little bit harder to put everything on there. Okay. The only hard thing about this is, you know, I'm not really pressing to get the air bubbles out because I don't want to press too hard because I don't want, because I'm going over the rocket ship here just a little bit, so I'm trying not to let it push down on it. So I was thinking earlier, and you guys tell me what you think. I was going to do the rocket ship in the orange and do the lettering in teal, um, but then I decided, no, maybe that's a little too crazy. I don't know. I actually love orange and teal together. My guest room has those colors, and you would think they wouldn't really go together, but they're actually quite pretty. Okay. So now maybe one more set and, and they're very, uh, like the bigger stars are very faint. And I always tell people, you know, these chalk couture stencils, some of them are meant to be that rustic faint look. So if you get that when you do a project, don't fear. I mean, that's, that may be the style of the stencil or maybe what, you know, it had been intended to be. And you know, when you look up in the sky, you see stars and all different brightnesses, right? Okay. I think I might have enough stars. Let's see here. Maybe, maybe I'll add another one up here. I'm gonna do one right here. I appreciate you guys hanging with me tonight. I usually, I sometimes do live. I do more live ones for Twisted Art. You guys kind of get to see how much of a goofball I am um, because that, that is truly unprepared. Un, you know, we don't plan it. We just wing it. And uh, Cindy and I are normally, Cindy normally is either recording or at the computer answering any questions you guys have. But normally she's cracking me up and then I look like a goofball because I am just cracking up at her and she gets to just sit back and, and laugh. So we, we have a lot of fun together. A lot of good teamwork there. Okay. All right, guys. So I think I think we're okay on the stars. I don't want to go too much overboard and I love, I love the stars. So I tend to do a lot of them. 
But, so we have a lot of stars all the way around. So I'm gonna put the stars in the water because again, I've had it out for a while and I don't want that, that paste to dry too much on there. I'm gonna put my squeegee in the water. That's the great thing about some of these products is, um, and what I do here is I just wipe with a disinfectant wipe the outside so that crusties don't get built up. But that's the one thing that I really like about Chalk Couture is a lot of the products are reusable. And that way, you know, you can just have a lot of fun with it. Okay, and you don't have to buy a whole lot of extra product because I'm reusing the squeegees, I'm reusing the, well, the makeup applicators aren't Chalk Couture, but you reuse the transfers. Um, so that's all goodness. Okay, I am going to, you guys are gonna have to excuse the noise because I'm gonna use my blow dryer for a second. And I'm going to make sure that this rocket ship is dry before we put this next stencil on there because I don't want to mess up what we've already done. And, uh, you know, I want it to be, to be good. So I think, I'm trying to figure out what to do with this blue down here um, where it bled into the white. Maybe I'll, I'll mess with that later. Okay, so I'm gonna dry this off really quick so you guys. So what are you guys doing on a Saturday night, huh? Who else here? I see there's four people. Got to say hi to me so I know you're here. Like and share. Again, this is Chalk with Mia with Chalk Couture. Um, you can, you know, obviously, you know my Facebook page because we are here. But I did start a YouTube channel too, Chalk with Mia. So I'll be posting these there as well. Eh, a little scary. Kind of going a little bit broader there. Um, and then I have an Instagram and all that stuff. So uh, for those of us who may just be joining us, hey, Angela. Thank you for saying hi. Um, for anybody who is interested in Chalk Couture, so I do, like I said earlier, I do parties. We call them make and takes, create and take. Really, it's just a lot of fun. Maybe we should just call them fun and takes. Um, and so um, I do those. But if anybody's interested in becoming an independent designer, now is the time. They have just changed their packaging. Um, of what you get. You actually get more stuff than when I joined in September. And it's just a lot of fun. I um, is, I am a pretty low pressure person. I want you to do whatever makes you happy. But I do have a wonderful upline and a team full of, of fabulous women. And I think some men are in there too, um, who can help support you any way you want. So if you are interested, contact me or just go to my Chalk Couture website, which is Chalk with Mia chalkcouture.com and you can hit the join button up in the top right hand corner you can shop for transfers yourself um, whatever you want to do okay so I've used this transfer quite a bit and some of the stickiness is is gone away I will tell you that there is a um, if anybody's interested there's a Loctite uh, brand spray that you can use and I would always spray it on the the actual medium, not the transfer. If you are getting some of that stickiness isn't working, some people say wipe it with a disinfectant wipe, that brings back some of the stickiness. Um, so, you know, whatever works. But I'm gonna push pretty hard here, or not too hard, because I don't want, yeah, I think we're okay. So my hardest thing here is probably, and see, now I'm recentering, is centering this saying in the middle of the rocket ship. Because the transfer has a blue background, um, I can't really see where it is, but that's what I'm doing, okay? And we are gonna do it with this red orange. So this is a little scary thing about going live. I could do this and then it could totally um, be horrible, right? And then I'm going to be, you know, cleaning it off and redoing it, but that, you know what, that is just life. And if that happens, that's okay. You can just see how wonderful the product is and how versatile it is. Okay. Yep, see, now I've messed it up. See, this is truly love, truly love. I love you too, good man. As long as I see blue and not that wood, I think I'll be okay. All right, so we're gonna do the red orange. Um, I did have just an orange color, but 
my husband, my uh, designer reference guy, he's he's really good with uh, coming up with colors and ideas, said maybe go a little bold and do the red orange. Okay, so this one I have not used as much, and it's a little, I would say that's not yogurt. So let's add a little bit of water. And like I said, I'm just pulling it from my container of water, and I would be, I would make sure that you don't um, add too much. It's better to be a little cautious and add a little bit at a time, because you don't want it to be runny, because then it, it will bleed, and um, you don't want that to happen. And the other scary thing about using these brighter pigments, like the reds, is um, it does come off and you can wash it off, but it just takes a little bit more effort because it's a very strong pigment. The blacks and the reds tend to, you know, hold on pretty tight. Okay, I think it is much better now. Yeah, there we go. A little bit more of that yogurty consistency. And I'll tell you, my upline, um, Tarina, who is my mentor, um, always uses the phrase, um, and she's a uh, create with tree. That's me. If you guys ever see her, she's always on. She's fantastic. Um, but she always says, if you can butter bread, oh, tongue twister, if you can butter bread, then you can do chocolate. And I think that's a wonderful analogy because she's absolutely right. See, I'm just swiping this down and covering my area and just putting dabs of the orange. The other thing, and I did this earlier, and I'm going to post this video later. I didn't do it live, um, but I did the beehive transfer, and I blended black and yellow and white together, and it turned out really cute. Um, so you can blend colors. I've done it with the rooster, which is really fun, but I always say it's always like a big old science experiment because you don't know how it's going to turn out because it's art. You, you don't get to pick and choose when you blend colors, you know, what the final product will look like. But I will tell you, I don't think I've ever been disappointed. It always is just beautiful and, and it works. Um, so you just got to kind of get creative and, and do your own thing. All right. So now I'm just taking the excess and I'm pouring it right back into this container. Okay. And again, I want to push, I want to put some pressure on it, but I don't want to put too much because I don't want to, I'm scared that rocket ship's going to pull up with me when I, um, when I pull this up. So we will see. All right, people, are we ready? Okay. So I'm going to pull up the tab here and we're going to pull, oh, my U bled a little bit. <gasps> But look at that. I love you to the moon and back. Do you guys like it? I think it's a little crazy. I don't know. Um, I really like it. I think, um, I don't know how I will clean up. Wow, those colors are really kind of magnificent together. Um, I don't know how I'll clean up that U part. I will have to see. I might just have to keep it. Uh, who knows? All right, so let me see what I can do with this afterburner section. I might have to redo that because I don't know how to get just that top part. Um, thanks, Angela. I appreciate it. Hey, Tracy. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if the camera picked up all those colors, but I just love that teal and orange together. If you guys have not done it, tried those colors together, it's quite pretty. Um, and I just love it. So I'm just cleaning up a little bit of the orange, red orange I got over here. Okay, so I am thinking I'm going to take my rocket ship back out of the water and clean it off and dry it. And uh, we're going to try the little burner, whatever they're called, um, Again, because I got a little bit of blue down there, and I think that is one area where the bleed does, or where the color combinations don't really make sense. Um, so, let me, huh, I'm on my kitchen counter. So you guys know just how um, awesome this product is if I can do this on my kitchen counter and then just clean it with disinfectant wipes later. It does not stain, which is, like I said, for me, fantastic. All right, guys, so, and now you'll get to see, too, how easy it comes off. And I think, 
trying to decide if I'm going to get rid of the whole thing. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll get rid of the whole thing. And, um, okay. Hey, Tracy, thanks for joining. Okay, so what I'm talking about here is I've got, see that blue right on top of the white? It doesn't really make sense to have that there. So I am going to just get rid of it. And we're going to redo that section. I'm going to have to get rid of a star or two in the process because it's too close. And I'm going to show you guys what this looks like after I wipe it. But this actually is working out well. For demonstration purposes, you guys can see just how awesome Chalk Couture products are. Because like I said, you know, if, if you're like me, you're going to mess up. And that's okay. Um, that's one reason why I love this product so much is it allows you to mess up. It allows you to have those uh-ohs and uh, start over. Okay, so I've got all of that. Let me get a paper towel and make sure the area is dry. And what we're going to do is we are going to relay, relay um, this transfer back on itself. And I guess the goodness about this being where it was is it doesn't have to be exact. As long as I'm somewhere in the vicinity, then it will be okay. All right, I think, oops, okay. I keep sliding it. All right, guys, I think I'm trying to get these lines meshed up. Okay. All right. So we're going to reopen the white and we're going to do this again and see how it works. Hopefully it'll be a little bit better than it was. Okay. There we go. All right. I'm just pushing because I don't, again, I don't want any massive air bubbles in there. I get another makeup applicator. My glasses are fun. And, okay, we're going to just scoot this over just the cloudy part. And see how this turns out. I thought about putting glitter on this white part. I couldn't decide. Silver glitter. You can actually add glitter. Um, so after I pull this up, if I wanted the glitter, as long as it's still a little wet, add a little glitter to it and a little shimmer and shine. Um, but I got scared because uh, I didn't know if, if it would look good. Okay, so let's pull this up. Yes, much better, okay? See, that is why I love this product. All right, so um, we've got, I love you to the moon and back, and I've got all these cute little stars. And if you can see that the U part, the O in U, um, got a little, you know, I pushed a little too hard, I think. Um, and it did seep through, so, and then the, the is the same way. But I think I'm gonna keep it. It's a piece of art. Hopefully whoever buys it will love it too and understand. If I can clean it up a little bit, I will, but I think obviously if I if I try to clean up this part, it'll also take the space shuttle under underneath. Yes, uh, Tracy, it's just like, um, and Angela just, okay, so I'll, and sorry, I'm, I'm not used to going live and having to answer the questions. So Angela, it is a chalk, paste. It's not a paint. It is a chalk paste. Um, and so it is chalk based. So you can clean it just like a chalkboard. You can clean it. But the good thing is, and I'll show this to you. So I can rub my hand across it and it doesn't smear. Okay. Once it dries, it is good to go, but you don't want to put anything water based on it if you haven't sealed it. So 
you just, um, like I could hang this up on the wall and then later on if I wanted to put a different message on it, I can do exactly what I just did with the white section, clean it off and put something completely new on it. Um, but for these, I do seal them because I sell them in a store, so I will spray it with polyurethane. Um, and so then that way it'll, it'll you know, seal it and, and I won't be able to reuse it. Um, and so Tracy, yes, it is a uh, silk screen. So uh, it's like the stencils you see in the store. Let me see if I can get one here that won't drip water everywhere. See if I can show you the screen part. So it is um, a stencil, but it has a screen in between, just like screen uh, t-shirt screen printing, I guess, um, which helps with the bleed. So you don't get as much bleed as you would with one that's just open. And I'm, let me see if I can, I don't know if you can see that screen, screen mesh in here, but my thumb is rubbing up against this one. So there is a screen mesh. Um, yeah, so it, it's absolutely fabulous. Yes, Angela, I'm going to tell you, I love crafting as well, and I'm a sewer and crocheter. I never really made signs, although I really appreciated them and loved them. I loved seeing them and always wished I could, but I don't have a steady enough hand to handwrite some of those signs, especially the ones that are really detailed. And I saw this video of somebody doing chalk couture, and I couldn't stop watching it. And I thought, oh my gosh, um, I have to go to the Chalk Couture website and kind of see what this is all about. And so I started to buy some of the products. And by the time my cart was full, I might as well have become an independent designer. So, um, so I went ahead and just signed up and I've never really done direct sales before. So the other good thing about this company is, is if you just want to be a crafter and sell the product, you can do that. That's absolutely fine. As long as you, um, do the minimum. So it's $20 a month. $99 to sign up, and then you have to spend $150 every quarter. That's the minimum. If you do that, you can maintain independent designer status. Um, or you can go as much as you want. It, it really just depends on what you want to do. Um, or you can just buy the product from me and stencil or sign up for the classes and um, and and stencil, you know, um, take the classes and make some of the projects yourself. So. If you like, yes, Sherry, you're absolutely right. If you love DIY projects, I'm gonna tell you, and they also just came out with, um, they're coming out with 50 new stencils this month. They just had a wave of them um, last week, about 25 of them, and another 25 are coming out this coming week. And I have two portfolio binders full of transfers. There's so many different possibilities. Um, there's really no custom transfers just yet, but I will tell you that I have letters and stuff, and I'm making one right now for an anniversary gift. So, you know, I'm putting the letters together. So, um, so yeah, so my website is https colon backslash backslash chalk, C-H-A-L-K with Mia, M-I-A, dot chalk couture dot com. Um, so it's also on my Facebook. There should be, if you hit the shop now button, I think it'll take you there. Um, but yeah, and you know, I'll tell you, uh, it's a great product. Um, if you look at the prices, I will tell you they are more than the stencils that you buy in the store only because you can use them over and over and over again. So, um, so yeah, so that kind of explains the prices a little bit to you, but, uh, totally up to you. So I truly, truly thank you so much, Angela. Um, I, I really appreciate you guys joining me and I'm going to try to do more of these. It's been about 38 minutes. I appreciate you guys hanging in with me. And um, I'll be posting some more videos because sometimes I just record them and post them. So, um, so anyways, yep, I will. Um, thanks for the hearts. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday night and I am absolutely probably going to see you again soon. Okay. Thanks, guys.